Kia ora kia my greetings and welcome, I am Guru, we are in Niga Valley for a new series, The Walking Dead Negan's Revenge, a solo playthrough with a twist using the Lone Wolf mod and the Walking Dead mod primarily to create a twisted solo playthrough, where once we leave this base we may only return on one condition and that's to repair our weapons. So, we have Negan here. He has, of course, Lucille the barbed wire bat, an operator's M4A1. He has a backpack, a bottle of painkillers, two energy drinks, two weak painkillers, a fuel bomb, and two bags of snacks. So the premise of this playthrough is Negan has had the saviors destroyed, so he's moved to a new town in which to wreak his revenge on both the zombies and all the enclaves there within. So to win the game, we have to destroy all the play hearts and all the enclaves on the map every last one of them before we consider his revenge sated so lone wolf means that we can rest at night and we can sleep and i have included a winter mod for it is the winter of our discontent and we must go forth and conquer task for you. now Detail. the rules are now then there, we can only use Lucille as a melee weapon. We can only return to base in order to use a level one workshop to repair. We are not able to use the base in any other way or use outposts. And we cannot trade. We can only threaten with enclaves. And should we get missions such as this one, which has popped up, the mysterious broadcast, we can only enlist them in which case to, to threaten or attack or betray or kill those who have requested the mission so that's the deal we cannot profit from it we can only use it to murder people right so this is of course set in the lethal zone how on earth are we going to do this i have no real strategy at this time so what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of a scout around and get ourselves some weapons in which to deal with the undead Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for checking out the series. I'm really looking forward to it. So, like I said, no freaks, but zombies who kill with a single bite. No blood plague, but they kill with a single bite. I suppose we should talk about his skills, right? That was loud. And his traits. We may have attracted some company here. So while death approaches, Here's what we've got. We've got criminal leader, lost a wife, heavy hitter, and a little sadistic. And for skills, we've got backtracking, backtracking, backpacking, obsession, which is from um, from Heartland. But I put it in there because I thought, you know, why not? It sounds revenge-like. Uh, we have striking and assault. And here's a zombie coming. So here's our first zombie. It better not kill us. Oh, two zombies. Oh, and I've put in one more mod. And the mod is... I was in here earlier. Just testing that it was working. Don't need influence. Um, so, uh, yes. No slow executions. Because that will kill us in this game. If we, if we have a slow execution. So we've turned that off. Um, we also have no starting vehicle. No starting vehicle, so yes, we've just got to figure it out on our own. Um, carry what we can carry. So yes, finding a vehicle is probably high on the agenda. Um, finding meds, we might we might be able to find meds here. In terms of food, we've got six food, but we're eating two a day, so we've probably got three food before we start to starve. I am literally making up the strategy. Um, as we go, not a lot of forethought has gone into this at all. That's it should it. be fun. Uh, parts, we will need to repair things. So parts we want to keep. Medical supplies we want to keep. Guns and ammo we want to keep. We could probably do with a sidearm. Yep, I got nothing here. And a vehicle so that we can get around the map. Now, if we eat snacks, that should alleviate... I think I might keep this. There we go. 
And we'll take that for now because our pockets are full already. So getting a car is going to be pretty important for going in against plague hearts, even if, you know, they're going to be surrounded by slow walking undead Nobody and the like. Us. Because, you know, it's uh, we'll need some fast getaways, I'm sure. Time to move on. Don't need any of that stuff. So, how I think the series will go is from uh, kind of dawn to dusk. We'll finish the episodes after we sleep. Or when we go to sleep and awaken the next day. If you have not seen the Lone Wolf mod before, you can check out a uh, streams under uh, on my channel under live and you can get a gist for what it's like. You can actually do a lot more than what we're using it for in this game. But I'm just using it to be able to have a prolonged solo game where I don't have to speed run the hearts. Uh, I came down here because we should do some scouting. See if we can find a vehicle. We found the a gas can, so that would be great. Now, even though we can rest every night, what I did notice was that over time, the fatigue still ate away at us. So it can be pretty hard going. You'll notice I'm not running around and sprinting. That's because I'm trying to conserve energy. The more you sprint, the quicker you burn your fatigue. It's fine when you've got someone else to take up the slack, but we do not. Yeah, we'll jump into survey mode in a moment. And sometimes find a gas station, uh, a vehicle down by that gas station. We'll stack some more parts. Mm. Looks like a plague heart. The, so as well as being able to get around the map the vehicle will offer us uh, more storage which we do definitely need that might make for a good outpost yeah we're not seeing vehicles though are we green shed right so I guess because we need parts to fix the um, to fix Lucia, one of the questions will be: okay, then. Nothing more to see here. Can we break down equipment in order to turn them into parts? And the answer to that is no. But we can break open rucksacks, and I'm tempted to allow um, using gun parts. But we'll see. But we'll see. Alright, we might get across to that uh, locker and the, the weapons locker. What are we looking for in here? Oh, we could find some more parts. We do need more parts. A boombox. Would that be useful? That could be very useful. Alright, we're going to drop that and take the boombox. So we're not expecting to get hurt early on, but as the hordes grow, we may run into trouble. I've heard the hordes can get pretty big in this mod, but I haven't seen them to date. So this one zombie here, if it bites me, that's it, I'm dead. So we're not even going to bother with him. Yeah, I think our f our first priority is to find a vehicle. Like I just wandered into plague territory. There's gotta be a heart around here, and plenty of plague zombies too. Now the operator's um, my gun does have a suppressor on it. 
But at this stage, I'm not 100% on whether I'll allow myself to repair guns. Ha! Huh. Back up bossy. Hmm, I like all that stuff. It's not a 9mm, it is a 9mm. So, what do we drop? We might drop the boombox. Or the soda can bomb. We don't really need a soda can bomb. So they're not quick. But they are numerous. And all it takes is one jank on the controls. And uh, and we're history. That's why I gave myself striking. Because it comes with jeopardy. If I miss, then, uh, then it's all over, Red Rover. Right, where else might we find a vehicle? Also installed a graffiti mod so that we can get walking dead graffiti in the game. Alright, we'll get away from him. Ah, uh, here we go. That's starting to be a reasonable board. Now, I don't know how the new infestations are going to work with this mod, but I guess we'll find out. We might go with no crossbows as well. Gotta catch my breath. Um could go straight after a heart. Where Where might there also be No, uh, we could check that billboard out. A bit of a scout. <laughs> yeah, I'm really nervous attacking these guys. Especially as, a, as if you've seen me play this game before, you know, I get bitten a lot. Now, I have no idea where we might find a vehicle. Okay, then. Nothing more to see here. Oh, serious. That's it. Um... Right. So I'm not sure what will happen if we wake up a play cart. Alright. Take a moment. Um Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies around that play cart. No suppressor on that. But should be able to get out of there before zombies see me. Except maybe this one. Looking out for vehicles. Whose idea was it to not have a starting vehicle? Shoot that guy. 
Actually, it's kind of fun. It gives you, you know, a new challenge. There's no point in really so Oh, shit. No point in looting all this sort of stuff because we can only carry so much. Find a vehicle or an enclave. That's what I mean. These guys are going to be dangerous. And I think that these mods, these Walking Dead ones, they have a tendency to throw a lot of zombies crawlers into buildings. Okay, now where's that plague heart hiding? Keep them off us at the moment. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secured. That's true, Negan. <sighs> ha! That worked. Jump over the fence at the same time. All right. So time is of the essence. We go left or right. Um, I think we go down the street, to be honest. Let's go this way. Just got a feeling. Of course, we can't use the uh, bounty broker. And of course, we've got no boons in play. Of course, there's going to be no cheesing or anything like that. I do like this winter mod though. It makes the map, uh, you know, it's just another bit of zhuzh on the map. A bit of variety. I will try not to overdo that one. Executions could be problematic. Is it just me, or are the zombies. A little more popu populous in these built-up areas. Might be imagining it. It's a small sample size. Old squillones. All right. So here, I think we want to get. behind an upper ladder onto the roof so that we can scout out. I do know all this stuff exists. Can't afford a swing and miss. Kind of handy having that revolver though, that will never break. So if I'm not allowed to repair guns, that's an awesome fight. Alright. Oops. What's going on? So searching more buildings. 
We should put an outpost in that building. It's got potential. That's enough scouting for now. Wow. Still none. All right, we might loop up back around this way. See if we can find that uh, find that elusive vehicle. This truly is survival. One zombie bite, and we're dead. Community wipe. We will no doubt start starving, and we will need to break open food rucks for the snacks therein. We just need to... We need a vehicle so that we can get around the map. In some ways, this is kind of like mixing State of Decay 2 with a bit of Zomboid. Just keep clear of them for now. In fact, if you're new to State of Decay 2, like brand new, this isn't a bad approach to picking up the game anyway, is to avoid zombies first. Until you get the hang of things. Play the stealth game, the long game. That's cute. The uh, windmills collapsing as the world decays. Right. Somewhere around here is a. Maybe we shouldn't use the map. Yeah, no map. We can do no map. Or can we? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we use maps for missions, locations only. I'm using it here and I probably won't anymore yes yep that's it where you can use use the map Let's see. Uh, I can't say three times a day because I will lose count so we'll just say once or not at all Combat is now a bit of a white knuckle ride, to be honest. Yeah, we won't use the map. Because if missions pop up, who cares? Wonderful. Another plague heart. Um, 
This is looking grim for vehicles. That pack is hunting for something. Okay, so that's an actual horde. How well do we know Mega Valley? We will find out. I remember bits of it. Another billboard down there. Could get lucky. But that's not a massive horde. But I imagine they will grow over time as standing builds. Right now we've all gotten used to killing Zeds. Killing hostile. I haven't got used to so killing easy. Zeds. So we're playing without outposts. Okay, they're not that slow. Done. I'm gonna run out of bullets for that gun soon. We know where to get some more though. But it is a long walk. Okay then. Nothing more to Hang see on. here. Bogan Rapscallion. There it is. You see it? I see it. Oof, ran right past it. Nice. I'm pretty sure that the Brogan's got a lot of storage in it. So yes, we can repair Lucille, but we cannot repair our guns. So we're going to have to keep our good guns for taking on enclaves. They can kill you with a single headshot. You don't just drop to the ground and, you know, can't get up. No, you never get up. Um, yep, we can't pick up rucksacks and put them back in our community to keep us happy either. All right, so we have fuel. We don't have a toolkit, though. Where is a second? I could look on the map, but we're not going to. So we're going to have to protect this vehicle. While I try and remember where there's a repair kit. Sometimes near power as well. Gotta watch Thinking. out for plague zombies around here. Yeah, we need to repair this before we start going after plague hearts. We might be fine. Might be able to find some around here, toolkits. Ooh, toolkit, 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 toolkit. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right. Well, first things first. I'm going to get another side up. Or at least the ammo for it. I quite like the bossy. I'm going to keep using it. Turns out that was an excellent find. Down here where no one can see us. So 
see what we might find. You can sometimes find toolkits in this place. Oh, there's a gun shop That's around it. the corner. It's a 45. I guess we could have stored some of the stuff, right? Man. That was stupid. Oh well. care of those oh excellent it actually had a snack in it put that in there that in there so we have to carry the parts with us i think i've got some left at base which i kind of inherited so we inherit those but um let's see we'll put that in there we'll use that 45 until it breaks I'm going to lean a lot on strategies that I've seen other content creators do on this. And I'll probably do a pretty poor job of it. But, hey, that's life. I think I got something here. Yeah, we'll take that. Load that. Load that. Um, I don't think we'll find a toolkit in here, but we'll check the check the factory. Well, once, better move on. Once we got a toolkit, once we've repaired that car, we'll be able to go after a heart. We'll have to be careful at night if we're doing anything like that. If we find a 50 cal, that would be unbelievable. Oh yeah, I came into this factory when setting up the game just to make sure it was stable. So yeah, there was nothing nothing good in it. <laughs> and toolkit. Where is there a repair? I'll tell you what, I know where there is a power plant. And that will have to do for us for a place to look. right down the other end of the map but I can't think of where there's a, um, a seconds or a big daddy's auto repair for the life of me right now towards uh, zombies are fairly numerous oops find one up here might have to go this way anyway actually we'll cut across country a little bit a lot of houses that sort of thing not a lot of shops and the like or at least none that I can think of but I do know where that there where there's uh, power stations there's usually toolkits okay we'll stick on stick on the road from here it's going to run a little bit low on gas this side of the river we should on the other side of the river there are gas stations. So I can hopefully find some more fuel. I don't know why I'm so worried about... I think it's because I want doors on my car.
Oof. It's clear for now, but in plague territory, more Zeds are always close. <laughs> Salt kick. Once the door's up, we can go after a heart. Circuitry, not what we need. Alright, once all the plague hearts are dead, we can use our map to look for enclaves. If I. That's enough to repair Lucille when she's damaged. You like my outfit? Obviously, a younger time. Um. So no toolkits. It's a downer. Um. Thinking. We're in the sort of right neck of the woods for. Potentially finding a toolkit. Oh, I know where there's one. Next to the gas station, which we also need. Further along the road a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. We're starting to get a bit, little bit, little bit sleepy. Been running about a lot. S sun's starting to go down. So we won't even know where the buildings are pre-looted until we visit them. No map. This is going to be awesome. No map. I reckon we could probably find a toolkit in there, but... Seeing as we're low on gas, we're going with option A. Besides, it doesn't really matter which play cart we start on. And there'll be plenty, because it's lethal zone. There's a seconds. Is we park down the road a little bit. Cars attracted them, but we can't do too much about that. I wonder if they become more aggressive, like super aggressive at night or something. I hope not. Goodness, this place has not been preluded. Thank God it's not crawling with these. We're watching our back a hundred percent. One bite, it's all over. No place to put it. <sighs> Alright. We'll finish searching first because we'll figure out what we want to take. We definitely want to take that. So, we'll take that. We'll take that. See what else is in here. Remember, if it's melee weapon, we can only use Lucille. No heavy weapons. Uh, can we stack that? We can't. But we now have what we need. In order to mobilize ourselves on the map. And not be victims. Minus one food. So yeah. Starting to go. Yeah. Starting to go. Crack under the pressure. Oops. We go back for a single snack. 
seeing as it's basically the only stamina item we've got, I'm going to do it. Or we could look at the Bronto gas because you can usually find energy drinks. Go with the energy drinks. And mollies. Yeah, okay. Might be able to get some mollies out of these guys. away from terrain features which could mess me over. I panicked, but there are way more than I thought. See if we can sneak in around the back. Hello, this is Lily Ritter from the network. As some of you know, I grew up in a place called Trumbull Valley. Hi, Lily. The valley has seen tough times. Like if I come to Trumbull else. Valley, I'm going to hunt you but down. That was super close. Super close. Head on swivel. Yep, that's a keeper. Uh, we will take that. Nice. There is one more container. Must be out front in the forecourt. Oh, I didn't see one. Must be out the back. Ooh, nasty, nasty, nasty. Absolutely nerve wracking. Perhaps it's on the roof. It is not. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. We better get down. So. It's not that. Must be hidden behind here and I've just missed it. No. Bruce's third container. Oh, you can't dangle something like that in front of a loot goblin like me. It's just cruel and inhumane. Can I just see it there? There it is. Could be worse. That's actually pretty good. Getting dark. We're getting tired. But we managed to get what we came for. 
We now have a vehicle. We have plenty of gas. We got a kind of feel for what the zombies are going to throw at me. It's those blindside ones where you don't see them coming. They're the ones which are going to take us out. So when we take on play cards, we can't just lolly up next to them and beat away at them and like I usually do, I'll need to be uh, I'll need to be a little more surgical than that. But awesome. Anyway, let's I think we do this and we will sleep the night. Hopefully everything will work out. We'll wake up in the morning and it'll be episode two. If I don't and it crashes, well, it was fun while it lasted. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching Kakite. Bye for now.